We have a list of every motor that everybody has here, so we have uh, a good idea of what to cover. We're on 35 miles. It's me. One of the best motors ever built. I love it. But fuel pump's fired, ready to go. Um, you should check the fuel pump. You still running your own injection? Uh, we warranty all our remanufactured motors, our number one callback. I mean, when you think about all that goes <laughs> a power yeah. and everything has to be perfect. Yeah. Well, it's underwater. It's underwater. Yeah. 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 It's water. Most guys yeah. just buy a new fuel pump. I like to look at the old one to find the failure and then replace it. Because say, say this is all rusted inside. How's your gas tank? Oh, I just put a new one in. Oh. You got the water and the gas now. Did you have water and the gas? Oh yeah, you got rid of it. Oh yeah, you took out your fuel pump. Well, uh, now there's quite a few four strokes, we all know that, out there. So this, this course is designed, we describe the differences between four strokes and two strokes. We give you the theory of the whole. The cool thing about two strokes is you can think of this as a four-cylinder engine, or you can think of it as four one-cylinder engines. This is a cutaway of a two-stroke, 90 horsepower engine, about 1982. This is the most commonly made motor, I believe, in history. Uh, they made them from, with few design changes from 69 all the way to 98. They sold a ton of them, they mainly called a crosswell V4. The motion of the piston activates the ports. So as the piston goes down, watch here. Can everybody see these ports here? Mm -hmm. See the side of the piston? This is exhaust. So imagine that the spark plugs are ignited to combustion. Therefore, you get smoke, just like the lightning match. You get smoke. It's an explosion. The explosion drives this piston back, 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 back. The exhaust starts to open. The exhaust goes out. Okay, so you have an intake manifold basically in your in your hands, and the carburetor's mount to that, and then that mounts out to your crankcase. Okay. So the carburetors are mounted here, like that, goes here. And each reed block in this particular motor corresponds to the side. I talk about fuel pumps because it really, really reinforces the differences between four strokes and two strokes because it's two different kinds of fuel pumps. And later it'll reinforce fuel injection, low pressure fuel injection, high pressure fuel injection, and carburetor motors. So everybody has a per, uh, fuel pump and I stole the front desk ones. This is a fuel pump. It is run by pulses from the crankcase. With the amount that you use an outboard, as long as you change your oil, and you realize you're going to be fine. But when four strokes begin to get neglected, they're going to be very problematic. It's never, it's not good to neglect anything. But two strokes are our you know. job in the industry. And Kurt is great at it. He teaches us, and we teach you guys. Is to show you. That's why we have a class. Is to teach because most people have some innate knowledge of cars. And I, it took me a long time to figure it out. Why? Because we're talking about oil. Everybody knows some change of oil. I mean, the guy that doesn't know he's still in the wrong way. He's still getting it. But then I thought about it. I said, when was your first car ride? Everybody in this room. The day after you were born. Maybe the day you were born. When was your first boat ride? Sometimes you're not 50 years old. And how many times did you go out in the boat? Once a year. Whatever. Some, some older customers I had. I had to reteach them how to start the boat every spring. 